Hi everybody, welcome back to Critical Mass. It's 2020. It's a brand new year. A rather disappointing light year last year in the movie guesses, we tied. Mark, Mark struck out. But that just means there's only one direction to go for me, and that's up. <laughs> yeah, you can't get any lower, that's true. So, we're gonna do our January guesses, and this year, we're gonna run all 12 months for a full year, and I think we need to have some kind of consequences or a reward for the person who wins. Hmm. I think that whoever wins gets to get the other two people to wear on the channel whatever they tell them to wear. Okay, deal. Oh, I've already got the bikini in mind. That you want to wear? <laughs> See, I can edit that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, there's six movies. It's not a banner month for movies. January yeah, and January. February usually are horrible, horrible months but, for movies. But didn't Alita come out in January uh, last year? Uh, February last year, I think. Oh, February? Yeah. Which was, and uh, you know what? Wonder Woman came out at a time when it wasn't supposed to do well, so, you know, who knows? There could be some surprises. One of these could take us by surprise. There is a big movie coming out. A, that you know a well expected movie that you know much anticipated so we'll see how it goes but generally not a month that people go to the theater for some reason the okay. first one we have is the remake of the movie grudge mm -hmm. i enjoyed uh, the first one the first with one. sarah michelle geller yeah i enjoyed that one yeah yeah all right well what do you think it's going to open at all right well i've got 13 million on it 13 Oh. I'm I'm gonna do fifteen. Fifteen. Because it's the grudge. Like mm -hmm. and it has that sound. Do the sound? Uh, yeah. I got I got a story about that I should tell you so. I, I I I had a I was dating someone at the time who hates horror movies and I convinced her to go to the grudge. And she sat through the grudge and was like this the whole time through the movie. We go home she calls me up after the date, she, you know, to say goodnight. She's going, she, I, I see the phone ring with her name on it. And I, she, she, I hear, hi. And I go, oh. She didn't talk to me for five days. <laughs> Never heard from her again. <laughs> didn't talk to me for five days. And you know that story's made up because Don said he was dating. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next. Wait, wait, what's, what's I, I have 12. Oh, oh 12. so. You guys are battling against each other. Yeah. Well, no, actually, Mark's stuck in the middle of both of us. So if it's high, you win. If it's low, I win. So he's he's got to get a bang on. But he did get one last month. Bang on. It's true. Bombshell. So it's true. You never know. Second movie we have up for grabs. Possible Oscar contender. 1917. Mm -hmm. The World War One drama. All right, I've got 19 million on it. 19 million for Mark. I'm going 18. 18. I also said 18. Okay, so it's going to be mine. Awesome. <laughs> if it's high. If it's high. Higher than 18.5. You heard that. Go see it. <laughs> <laughs> the next one, I'm not so sure about. Like a boss. Mm -hmm. Tiffany Haddish. Right. Uh, I'm wagering 15. 15 million. 15 for Mark. I think some people might go to it because it's a little bit raunchy. So I'm going to say 18. 18, your second 18. And unfortunately, I said 15, which means Mark and I mm. are tied on that one. Okay. It really sucks when you tie. Yeah, because you're reducing your... You're reducing any chances of catching up. And now I have a tie with him and a tie with him. That's not good for me. Hopefully we break the tie here. Bad boys. Bad boys. Bad boys. Bad. Come on. What do you think? 23 million. 23 for Mark. 23. Ooh. I think this is going to do horribly. And the trailer looked awful. And these are two middle-aged guys that just shouldn't be doing this movie. Uh, I'm going to say 24. A 23, a 24, and a 41. Ugh. Wow. 
The only reason I'm saying 41 is it's bad boys. Uh, it was popular. A lot of people were hoping for this movie, and there's nothing else in theaters. Okay. It's the Including only people, I think. But it's the only one that could be considered a big movie uh -huh. this month. Okay. Really. So I'm taking a shot. I don't know. Shot. Our next one looks pretty big. Yeah. yeah. Well, we'll find out. The next one is Iron Man as Doctor Doolittle. I don't know. <laughs> I've seen the trailers. I don't know. I'm. Uh, what do you think, Mark? I'm saying 35. 35. Paul. 37. 37. Well, I said 26. I really wasn't impressed with the trailers. Ne okay, neither am I. But you're going to have people who like animals. You're going to have people who like the classics. You're going to have people kind of wondering how uh, the actor. Uh, Chris Hemsel? No. No. Um... Robert Downey, Jr. Robert, Downey, Robert Downey Jr. <laughs> They're going to wonder what he's doing since uh, the Avengers and all the CGI and there's not a lot playing this month. I think it's going to make bank. I don't know. I saw some of the trailer stuff and the CGI doesn't look great. It, it, like I'm a, I remember the movie as a kid, the original one, and it was a campy movie back then. I, when I'm seeing this, I, I didn't. Like, he didn't seem like Dr. Doodle to me. So anyone who is remembering the movie doesn't see him as the role, I don't think. It's completely played different. But we'll see. Find out. One never knows. And lastly, the, the sleeper movie of the month, The Rhythm The Rhythm section. section. 10 million. 10 million for Mark. I got 11. 11. And I said 6. Wow. It has a couple stars in it, but really there's been no buzz, no anything, no trailers, no nothing that I've seen. Okay. And I check trailers all the time, so I don't know how many people even know this movie's going to exist. Well, we'll find out. We will. So there you go. Those are the six movies up for January. This is when I jump out in the lead and I start figuring out what I'm going to make these guys wear by the end of the year. So uh, these, these are all kind of sleeper movies. Uh, if you still want to play along, which we hope you do, down in the comments write out what you think each movie is going to make and uh, we'll factor it in. And don't forget, if you lose, we'll be telling you what to wear next January. <laughs>